husband Don, my son Michael, and my son Joe. I'd also like to thank the Kasics. What a great team of people. And John Casey and I are going to work hard every day for the next four years to earn the trust of every Ohioan. We've had a great time on the campaign, and I'd just like to tell one story because I think it truly reflects who we are as Ohioans. At the last day of our first bus trip, we visited Wilmington, Clinton County, Ohio, where they have lost of jobs. John and I spent some time with those folks, we sat down with them, and at the end of our meeting and discussion we said to them, what is it that you need? What is it, what is it that you want us to do to help you? And you know what they said? We just want a job. Everybody should be so proud of all of the work that you've done. But tomorrow is a new day, and there is a new way in our lives. So please join me in welcoming the next.
And democracy only works when people engage in it, and Ohio, Ohioans have engaged in it robustly this year. Folks, Yay! we took a step forward tonight to putting Ohioans back to work. We took a step forward to shrinking government and making it work better. We took a step forward to making Ohio the best place to live and work in the country. A lot of fear has been spread in the last two months. But tonight, Ohio has affirmed that our best days are ahead of us, not behind us. I have always believed that hope always triumphs over fear, and it happens here tonight. for families and good for our future. We rejected the doomsayers and said, let's get together and build the kind of future we want for our beloved state. We succeeded because we stayed true to what we believe. Ohioans are worried about their futures, so we gave them solutions. I'm very proud of the fact that it was ideas and values that drove this campaign, and they're the only things that will drive my administration, and I want you to understand, we don't owe anything to anybody. We're going to do it the right way. the best ideas possible, free from politics, with the goal of creating jobs and getting Ohio moving again. You know, I'm done with this.
And the promised land is to serve the people of Ohio in this job. Amen. And he gave me a chance to do it. Yeah. And that's yeah. I've got a message to all of my colleagues. Winning is not the issue here. It's remembering what we promised, willing to put our political necks on the line, willing to make decisions that in the long run are going to benefit our people and the culture and the legacy of the state of Ohio. tell you why. Because those people that fear change, those folks that have somehow got their snout snuck in the trough, <laughs> oh, it's going to be a it'll be a tough job. Yeah. But if we stay together, if all of us stay together, and remember to keep the main thing the main thing, and that is to restore the great legacy of the beautiful Buckeye State, if we stay together, we will win, we will succeed, Thank you all very much.